The Becker Bulldogs are in the midst of defending their state title while being led by Dwight Lundeen, who's the only head coach in Becker football's 46-year history. You grow up and you kind of always, everyone dreams about playing for Coach Lundeen because he's been around for a long time. He, he's a great role model, like I said, which is great for kids. Not only, obviously, he's a decent football coach, too. I've been growing up around Coach Lundeen ever since first grade and he's something special. He really relates to the guys. He's really big in that he wants us to be respectful on and off the field. He asks you if, if you're being polite to any, any girl in the hallway or he just wants us to be really good young men and very polite young men. It's definitely a family atmosphere. It doesn't, I never felt like I go into practice thinking football. It's thinking we're gonna have fun and be a family out there. Lundeen, a graduate of St. Cloud State University, started the football program back in 1970. I came down here, wanted to marry this young lady from uh, St. Cloud and I needed to stay close because she had to finish her senior year. It worked out well. We thought maybe we'd be here for a year or two and all of a sudden the, the community started to grow. My wife uh, got a teaching job here and taught here for 40 uh, years and uh, when we started out it, it was a difficult uh, journey for sure and that was okay. I mean you learn to to take the good and the bad and you learn how to be uh, a loser. But I think we had 17 players grades 7 through 12 on our one of our first teams and that's hard to put 11 competitive players on the field. Despite the program's humble beginnings, Lundeen gradually built Becker into a football powerhouse, winning two state championships and racking up the third most coaching wins in state history. You know, there's no goal that I've set that I have to win 400 games or I win so many state championships. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. Uh, I love working with my coaches. I love the kids. Uh, if your goal is just to win games and that's it, uh, you won't last very long in this business. My, my purpose is a lot bigger than that. And that, like I said, is to impact young men to become good citizens and, and see their grow. And, and I don't always see the result of that until maybe 10 years, 5 years from now when they come back and uh, they have a, a beautiful family and they're a, a, a great member of a community. And, and then maybe football was a part of that and we hope that that is uh, true. Lundeen makes it a point to keep in touch with his former players by going to their college football games every Saturday during the season. Players like Shane Potter, who was a part of Lundeen's first state championship team in 2005. It's a great experience, not just just the life lessons Coach Lundeen brings in. He's one of these biggest role model I've ever had in my life. He got because I ended up going and playing college football, and he's a great big part of that. And uh, just always being there for him. It doesn't matter what it is. I could talk to him about anything, and he cares. He truly cares. I've cried with him multiple times, and it's whether it's crying for win, winning games or losing games or injuries or what. He's just always been there, and he's a great person. Current players attribute the program's success to the calming atmosphere Lundin and his staff have created on and off the field. He takes the starters, or I guess the top more 25 people, up to his cabin every summer. Yeah. yeah, all the seniors or juniors, all the top guys up to his cabin. It's a whole weekend of fun and just bonding. games, just bonding time. Yeah, that's awesome. He always says he cares about all of us. Yeah. Every, every single pregame, just I love you. That's, yeah, yeah, uh, that's what it is. For every game I see him, he's like, I love you. You know, I love, you, know you know that, right? And, that phrase yeah. is not held back. It makes you want to play your heart out for the guy and makes you not too worried about making mistakes. Yeah, it relieves, uh, relieves some of the nervousness before the game. Every Thursday before a game, we have Montana drill. You just lay there and he tells you a story every, it's, they're different ones about a bulldog, about some are about these, these rats and it's just, they're just, they're just odd. It's just an odd thing that coach goes with, but I mean, it helps us win every week. He's the most nice, he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. He's so gentle and you can see that the way he coaches his players. He likes to, he likes to build a foundation where we all have to treat each other with respect. To me, I get that asked a lot, you know, why do you coach and how do you build a program? It's how you treat people. I mean, I, I want three to five to be the best time of the day for every kid. Whatever happened in school that day is good, it's far more important than football. And we all have issues in our life that we're dealing with. With uh, We just had one of our players, his aunt passed away, and we just had a grandpa pass away. That's life, you know, but we can come together and kind of forget about that, enjoy each other from three to five, and have a great time playing this wonderful game of football. So how long is Lundin going to continue coaching? 
Well, I do it one year at a time. I really do. I mean, I, I think if I start feeling disconnected with the kids at any time, I, I will step out. I think I'll know when I don't have an impact on the kids and, and it's kind of slipped away. I, I think I'll feel that way. But right now, I just I, I feel I got a lot of energy and uh, I, I love doing it. It's kind of a short season. and. Uh, my wife has got uh, 1 800 uh, Fort Myers dialed up. The minute we lose, we're going on a trip. So if we lose, I'm walking the beach in my swimming suit the, the next day. So it's not, that's not all bad either, but hopefully that happens uh, after November 12th. Becker will play undefeated Orono on Saturday for the section championship. For WJON, I'm Isaac Schweer.